Ladies and gentlemen, we are here for another weekend roundup. Introducing to you our panel today, we've got the beautiful Abby Summers. We have Manchester United's finest, well, maybe until this weekend, <laughs> Flex. We also have the champion of the winning yesterday, AGT Liverpool. Give me a round of applause. Victory. And as we look over there at the bottle chair, <laughs> we need to give him a special welcome today. He's had six finals. Unfortunately, he has not won any of them <laughs> Dead boxer. at the home of football. <laughs> Played against Klopp's team yesterday of kids. We're half of them at school. Failed to win that one. They have spent one billion pounds on players, including Enzo Fernandez, including Kai Sido, lucky lad. including Mudrick. Say it again. Only to be named as the Blue Billion Pound Bottle Drops. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome along. Weighing one billion pounds. Oh, man, he's here. Dude. You thought you weren't going to make it, but listen, first of all, watch this. Portsmouth and Wigan can do it, so can we. So I'm going to go over 2-1 wow. two, two, win. What is he doing? He's beginning to believe. Tim McCaslin looked like he's looking into, looking into my soul. It's a big chance. Away. Good delivery. It's got in. We're going to die. Yeah. It's done. So he's done it. He's done it again. <laughs> done it again. He's done it again. You he's done it again. Dirty b you done it Where again. Where is the card? You, you can't really say that Klopp is levels ahead of Pochettino. No. Pochettino's got a track record. What? <laughs> done it again. Oh, he's done it again. Oh, I'm done. <laughs> Bring me back, brother. <laughs> hey, are you okay, lad? Hey, Batista, we okay, brother? I've got nothing left. I've got nothing left. I swear to f***ing God. Hallelujah. Imagine relaxing after this. Imagine f***ing relaxing after this. Imagine. Where is Matisse? Get him out. And I'm not going anywhere. I'll be there. I'll be there, Monday, I'll be there. Man, six. They have six Champions Leagues in their whole history. We've bottled six finals at Wembley in a row. It's only a game. Why you have to be mad? Oh. Oh. Would you believe it? You will not hear from me again. What's that? I'm going to I might take a flight, bro. I'm telling you. Actually, no, I'll be it. Ah, dear. Big six, yeah. My fist is hurting because I've been punching a whole heap of things. <laughs> Who's laughing now? <laughs> Six million down the drain. <laughs> One billion. I know we're out. Have some more. You ever watch? <laughs> you, ever, you ever listen to Post Malone? Who wants this? You ever you ever heard Rich and Sad? Money pull up. Keep that. Come on. You might need some more money. That's for Enzo. That's for Kai Sado. We dodged the bullet. Oh, out oh. his mum. Woo! Welcome along to the show, people. Um. <laughs> where shall we start? One job. One. That's all we have to do. 
Get n- against kids, that's all you have to do. One flipping job, that's all you have to do. But no, you let them get one towards the four. One towards the four. You let clock flipping start building up momentum. That's what you do. You had me that's fist bumping in box. You had one flipping job. Agency one. on the mud one. Oh, Tell no. you what, I don't want to sit too close to you. You're a massive bottler. Oh. Before we get into... Oh. Um, I'm rubbing off. Before we get into... <laughs> Before we get into the show, right, um, let's, <laughs> word for our sponsors today. Alex, take it away. Um, yeah, I'll take it away. <laughs> Just like I took that trophy away yesterday. This video is, of course, brought to you by our wonderful, incredible sponsors, Match Bingo! Woo! Where every goal, Bingo. save, throw in corner or substitution can win you premiums de caja. Cash prices, everybody. Increíble. It's a very fun game. I was playing it yesterday. Again, Did missed out. No, I won the real prize, didn't I? Mm. Uh, it's basically bingo, but for football, right? You get a card. You have to fill out uh, the card uh, via events that happen in real life on the pitch. And as Matisse is looking into the abyss, I can tell you that the best bit about match bingo is you get 10 free cards to play with a month. This week, it's West Ham versus Brentford. The Irons versus the Bees. Um, and we also donate half of the... Um, the the fees to the Stroke Association. You can pick any charity there as well um, to 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 donate to it. So a very uh, in great initiative, really, from Match Bingo, Robbie. I'm I'm a it big is. fan of it. All you have to do to get involved is find a game you'd like to watch in the game section. Find that game. Get yourself <laughs> some bingo cards to play along. As events happen in the game, your bingo card will be automatically stamped like uh, Liverpool's name was into that trophy yesterday. Mm-hmm. Uh, be the first to complete one or two horizontal lines and then jump in for a full house to win the full cash prize. Get notified on the go, Robbie. You have to be over 18, Robbie. You have to be gamble aware, Robbie. And the link is in the description for you as well. Get involved, people. It's Get brilliant. involved right now. Big up to Match Bingo. And if you're interested, as I, um, Alex said, the link is in the description or you can scan the QR code. Let's start with the big cup final yesterday. The Carabao Cup final won by Liverpool by one goal to nil. It was Virgil van Dijk. It was a really entertaining game. By the way, I called it, innit? On the, uh, when I did a prediction, I said Yeah, one you said nil. one goal. You I said, said it'd be goal. one nil. I said it'd be tight. Um, it was tight. There was chances for both teams. There was the disallowed goal by Virgil van Dijk. There was the disallowed goal for Raheem Sterling, uh, the offside. Lots of incidents in it. Should Caicedo have been sent off yes. for that yes. challenge earlier on in the game? No. But listen, yes. it, it, was, it was a thoroughly, thoroughly entertaining game. But it was <laughs> Liverpool who came out on top. And uh, I'm going to start with you, Alex. I mean, how proud of you? How proud were you of that Liverpool side? That, I mean... At kickoff, you know, just for a kickoff, when I saw the teams come out, I'm like, if I'm a Chelsea fan, I'm thinking to myself, this is it. If I'm a Chelsea player, I'm thinking, this is it today. No Salah, no Allison, no um, Trent Alexander Arnold, no Nunes, Jota, no Jota, Soboslai. no Soboslai, Jones. J- Curtis Jones as well. That's not, I mean, ba- yeah. basically, so. you know, you must have been looking at that. I, I remember, like, you know, obviously we had Doyle on the watch along and he was resigned to the fact that he, Liverpool weren't going to win. I remember he was outside talking to mm. his girlfriend almost like saying, James, we've got oh, no oh, chance. Doyle, remember? He was so cute My after God. the game as well. I saw him in the car park calling her and giving her a whole rundown. <laughs> he was like, we did it with all this, with all the kids on. It was amazing. It was the best day. He's just so sweet. <laughs> yeah, I love him. Chris, when man. you saw that My team, God. did you think to yourself no, you no, had no chance of winning that, especially with Chelsea, you know, almost full strength? I've just had the best weekend ever, Rob. I'm not going to lie to you. Um, when I saw that team come out yesterday, which you'll see my reaction to later on, we've got a vlog coming out on the Cop TV, film the whole day. Shout out to Jason for his hard work yesterday. But when that team come out, obviously I heard some rumours on Wembley Way at about 10 o'clock that morning that they hadn't travelled. And I didn't want to be the bearer of bad news, but I put it out on the Cop TV. Everyone saying, nah, you're wrong. They're definitely playing. How can they not play? And then they weren't involved. And for me, it was the bench. That was where I really started to, and in hindsight, how dare I? Because they're the lads that came on and made a difference. But at the time, going into a final, it's the biggest chance, or the, the easiest chance Chelsea are ever going to have to beat us in a final, finally. And we found a way. Klopp said, you know, there's 5,000 ways to win a football match. You know, we just need to find one. And it further cements us as the most successful club in the country now. It further cements Klopp's impending legacy on, on what his he's achieved at Liverpool. He said it's the most important trophy he's ever won in his career. 
And to do what we did with kids on the pitch, I know Chelsea have a young squad as well, but we've got lads that are genuinely in school no, today. Inexperienced kids you've got, though, haven't you? Yeah. I, mean, I didn't even know who they were. I know some ago. of those comparisons being drawn that, you know, Chelsea side are young. But, but their got, kids are 100 million. Yeah, Ours and, are and 100 you've got grand. kids that, you've got young players that have played in World Cups and things like that. I mean, and play for England and things like that. We're talking about your bench contain kids that are like... Kids. They're Actual kids. They're, kids. They're, and they're inexperienced. They're not first team players. They're academy players, basically, that have been brought in to play because no one else is fit. Yeah, and when we looked at the bench, when the legs were getting a bit tired, Diaz and Robbo, they, they clung on. And then you're seeing Jaden Dans come on, you're seeing McConnell, you're seeing Bobby Clark come on. Um, it's just incredible what we did, and it can't be understated. And I do agree with Klopp, this is the most special trophy we could win considering the circumstances. <laughs> Don't I roll like, your Flex, He's going to film Don't a drill video after, so he's, uh, <laughs> he's getting ready for a Dyke. drill. We've, we've all the, we all talk the about kids. Take the ballet off. I don't think anyone cared about this trophy. <laughs> but listen, it's everyone... With all the kids, yeah. though, it was, it was, um, it was Van Dyke. It was the you, captain you, Van Dyke, the best centre back I've personally seen with my own eyes. He took the game by the scruff of the neck. Very Gerard like to say, right, listen, I'm the experienced one. I'm going to have to go win this for us. The first goal, <laughs> how that was disallowed, the game is, we know the game's gone anyway, but that was just to be nonsensical. Fair, to be fair, I said at the time, I think they got that right. Well, listen, because it doesn't if even you look at, If you end. look at Endo, he's standing in an offside position. With the only intention yeah. of the block. But when we played Burnley, he they been, pushed uh, no, no, Salah he, he into offside been, position and it was I know, but I'm just saying, he should have been cute with it. Foul. He should have stood onside. It doesn't matter. I just think, it, I think you, it, that doesn't happens matter. in every single it does, week. It does. The block, the yeah. block is what they've obviously... Uh, the offside, Sunday whatever, league, but mate, you get the blocking clapped is what is given. No, it's never going to see it every... Every single week. We were talking about it before, actually, with how you play and your and your players do that. They do that, but they stand onside when they do it. And that was the thing. He was miles offside and then he did that he had no intention mm. so it is if he wasn't offside, I think by the letter of law they actually got it do you know what I don't agree with that but it is mm. what it is we still get Every the, the win it. you know Keller in goal nine saves oh. a lot of people <laughs> saying it was me in goal yesterday so um, oh shout out man like <laughs> Big Coylan. Coylan's coming. Coylan. 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 It's Kelleher's, it's Kelleher's oh, brother's oh, come. It's my cousin. Yeah. It's a good one when we're guests today too. Yeah. yeah. My brother Coylan. See, yeah. see you soon. My see brother. Soon. Contract on, GP. Yeah. Yeah. Listen, you're, not, you're not even a Mercedes. Oh, <laughs> you're not yes, even a learning. Mercedes fan anymore. Yes, I taught him. Jeez. Yeah, but listen. To be forget, fair, you are going to be a Ferrari fan. You are going to wear red. <laughs> don't forget, Gravenberg got injured as well. You are. And that's another midfielder yeah. that went. Um, we played 140 minutes yesterday, and there's a few players I'd like to shout out in particular. Obviously, Kelleher is just our guy. Klopp said we've got the best number one and two in the world. I agree with him. The saves, the the big moments, the strength, un. Fathomable how good he was yesterday. Uh, I'm going to give a big shout out, massive shout out to Watura Endo because on this show I got cooked on Thursday for saying he's one of the best CDMs in the league. 16 million pounds, maybe a signing of the season. He's not lost a game for Liverpool Football Club, Robbie. He was an absolute monster yesterday. He covered every blade of grass and he was limping at the end. His foot was in a brace, but knowing him, we'll be back on Wednesday. And then obviously I've got a shout out Van Dijk who was simply just a strength of tower and the header tower it was strength. tower of strength tower of strength, strength yeah. of tower I don't know what, <laughs> honestly to be honest <laughs> he was a strength of tower too he was he was everything but the header the cross from Simakas who won the cup against Chelsea a couple of years ago he gets an assist but then I got a shout out Jaden Dans who almost scored 18 in school today I got a shout out Bobby Clark and McConnell you know Quanza came on and did a great job five of our lads out there were academy players and this is an, uh, uh, this is a victory for the academy and i'm so so yeah. proud of my team well, you're, my you're, manager you're, you're, my fans i'm just yeah. so happy you're, you're very proud now I, what so i would happy. like to know now yeah but you got nothing right is a uh, from <clears throat> matisse and McAllister matisse, as well. gary neville described mm. chelsea as the blue 1 billion bottle jobs mm. would you agree <clears throat> Be well, we spent a billion and we bottled it, so <laughs> it's pretty simple. I mean, for me, there's a lot of narratives that were going to come out of this game regardless. Um, but for me, when the 85th minute came in, I mean, Liverpool's starting 11. I think you have to respect they're, they're good players. You know, that that defence is, is got two of the best centre-backs in the world. Bradley's been outstanding. Um, Robertson. I saw your tweet about Canate Flex. But 
when the 85th minute strikes no, and good. those those kids start coming on, you have to win the game. You absolutely have to win the game. And for us to, I mean, I, I don't think we played great in the 90 minutes anyway. Um, but for us in the extra time to just be getting bopped about by McConnell and Clark and no real impetus to try and win the game and hanging on for dear life. Managers coming out afterwards and saying we're playing, playing, for, for, playing for penalties. Penalties. How can you, you say that? I, I mean, now, I, I found that extraordinary. When you see, like you said, a team full of like inexperienced yep. academy players, mm. you're playing for penalties. It should be the opposite. You should be saying, right, guys, let's not take this to penalties to give them even a sniff. It's embarrassing. Let's just, it let's just like, destroy them. Is it, Liverpool played midweek. We didn't. We had a whole week to prepare for the game. Said you were tired. And apparently we're tired, even though Liverpool were the ones aggressively pressing. Like it's just embarrassing. I don't. I don't really understand how we can even try and legislate for that. Like it's probably the most embarrassing final I've ever seen us in. Because when you look at that Liverpool team now, they've spent no money on their youngsters. They've got that picture of them winning a trophy to put in the academy building. Something we had with the Champions League. Christensen, James, all those guys. And we have sold our academy for young players and they literally froze. So many people in the first half, heavy touches, gusto, must have gusto, went out for a throw in about wow. two, three times. De Sassi, yeah, De Sassi slipping. I thought Gusto was one of your best players he was, his time I, I don't know, yeah, listen. Yeah, he, he, he didn't, he didn't, he didn't have to go out. Yeah, one of the better I mean, ones, for sure. It's, everyone was nervous Rex, you could tell. Yeah. And that's what happens when you don't have balanced recruitment and you don't bring in a wealth of experience. Like it's, it's very damning and very ironic that the goal comes from Van Dijk, who was an absolute yeah. mammoth. Like this guy <laughs> literally it. put his flag on that pitch and said, he won the game for Liverpool. Yeah. I've seen a centre-back win a game for his club. That's what he did. Leader. Leader of men? No, leader of kids. That's what it was. This <laughs> guy single-handedly pulled Liverpool to a win. And when, when, when you, you see a player do that and then you look to us, who we don't have any leaders. We've got Ben Chilwell fighting with... Any kid he can pick on. Yeah, it's just a bully, wasn't he? That's not that's, that's that's not that's not that's not that's not leadership. But he was he was twelve. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's 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 not the leadership that that's, 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 that's not the leadership we're looking for. Like having these having these fake scraps and these these exchanges of words. That's not leadership. Like that's that's not how you take your team over the line. So. The, and then you, the, and you look at big chances. Big, yeah, yeah. I mean, Enzo, Gallagher at the end. Gallagher, en Sarsi as well. That one off oh, his knee. Uh, got Enzo, Enzo back healing it when yeah. he should have oh, just yeah. passed it. Yeah. We got a manager on the bench who is now unanimously known as a bottle job in this country. We had the chance to change that. He had the chance to change that. He didn't do it. Um, do you keep him? Yeah. What's, I, I what's said again. I said against Wolves what I said about him leaving and then everyone was asking me a couple of weeks later if I changed my opinion. I said, I'm just going to wait until the end of the season. I'm not going to change my opinion until I see otherwise. And I've said it I mean, did already. You see when he, he, needs was... to be, he needs to be moving on at the end of the season. Did but you see when he's walking along the gantry there? Yeah, like, he, he ignored Todd, walked, Todd, yeah. Yeah, he, yeah. Was that he about? just walked past him. Well, I, I don't know. Maybe you didn't recognise him. We don't see him too often. But for <laughs> me, I think what's most didn't important is him. you, you got you get, you to get a top... Um, you got to get a top... Uh, director of football in someone that's been there and done it at top level at top clubs and let them oversee similar to what Man United are probably doing right now with Ten Hag is let them oversee the rest of the season there's no point me saying let's just sack him now and then I have to rely on Paul Wynn Stanley and Lawrence Stewart to go and pick out another manager the same guys that have hired him in the first place and have gone excessively overboard with bringing in young players so you may as well bring in a director of football let, let them review everything and then go in the summer the, the manager markets in, in the summer anyway so it's embarrassing. Abby, what did you make of it? I had a great weekend, <laughs> first and foremost. Um, look, obviously I'm very happy. From a Spurs perspective, I'm very happy, of course. Would I want Chelsea to win a trophy? Absolutely not. Would I want it to be with Pochettino? Absolutely not. So big up to Liverpool. Thank you for saving my life. Um, but to be honest, we, we did the watch along yesterday um, and I thought when the team come out, I, I still thought that your 11 was weakened. I still felt that maybe you'd get the job done, but I, I still thought there's not that much quality up front. And as the game started, you could see that. Like, just there wasn't enough from Gapo, not enough quality to, to really make post. that. He did, he did hit the post, but there just wasn't enough quality. You know, mm. there's not that ruthlessness and clinical. Can you imagine what the score would have been if Jota well, yeah, and but, played? But that was the thing, there wasn't. And I felt that you could see that on both ends of the pitch with both teams, that there was just that lack of ruthlessness, like clinical finisher on both ends. Um, I felt that Chelsea grew into the game first half in particular, and then again grew into the game after the Van Dyke goal got disallowed. 
the fact of the matter is, in that half an hour period before extra time, from 60 to 90 minutes, Chelsea were on top. They had so many chances, and I'm not blaming Conor Gallagher. He was one of your better players yesterday. He's been probably one of the bright sparks in Chelsea, along with Cole Palmer, um, this entire season. I thought Petrovic also was, was very good yesterday. But they had... 30 minutes there where they were on top and you get to the point of going into extra time Doyle sat here Doyle was resigned to the fact that they were probably going to lose that and I've never seen him be like that if anyone knows what Doyle was like he's always the most positive happy person and we sat here and we thought no we know that Chelsea are going to win this game it's too much of an ask for the kids and then we kick off all these kids have come on obviously Pochettino's made substitutions which I've seen him get a lot of criticism for but I actually thought they were they were quite they were, they were sensible I understood the Chalaba decision no they didn't but that's that's not necessarily that's on not his, him yeah. that they didn't impact the game in the way that they should have but why is he... has impacted games before yeah, but... Enzo sorry not Enzo uh, Mudrik has also come on and does that he's got you know blistering pace just can't has no end product and I understood the Chalaba one because Ben, ben Chua had lost his head and clearly had no legs left mm. so I understood all of that the fact of the matter is they come on they do absolutely nothing to impact the game they had no they had no bottle about them to be honest with you they had no fight no oh, no hold, fight hold, no hold heart on, no they've desire they've been sent on yeah you know which the managers confirmed later on to, to basically just see it out yeah. to go to penalties he's, he's, he's set up you know, he's, he's still yeah, only got one striker. Which is, one which is, which is completely well, wrong. Yeah, that's what, so which really is completely intriguing. wrong. The, the blame has to go to Pochettino. But it does, but I'm, but I'm talking about the substitutions. You haven't, you haven't sent them on to win the game, have well, you? Well, I don't think those substitutions Look, are hindered. I, I'm sorry, every, I don't think those substitutions are hindered. Everybody you. takes, no everybody that, takes no. responsibility for £200 million. Well, two wingers costing in total £100 million coming on and being ineffective. You look at Klopp, though. He's not bringing on £100 million players. He's not bringing on... Star boys, right? They're just young players that have been, players. they've been playing PL2 against Stoke yeah. City under 21s two weeks ago, Fact. right? And he's managed to inspire them, managed yes. to give them that confidence, that trust, that level of belief where they can come on and impact a game. Absolutely. That is blame throughout the whole club from top to bottom that you can have a situation where these players who have never been here before, with no leaders around them recruited, because we just spent it all on kids can brick it. You look to the bench, the manager's bricking it because he's never, he's never won anything in this country either. So he's not got the experience and the guidance to give them. And then you look above and again, uh, at the top level in the director's box, there's nobody that, that's done it either. So it's, it's everybody's culpable. This is, this is not, oh, Chelsea have just lost today. And it's, it's ironic and it's, it's, it's very consistent with what has been going on all season. We're mid-table for a reason. Yeah. It's not, oh, Chelsea have lost and now Pochettino's bottled it. Yes, he has. But this is something that we've been witnessing for the last 18 months. There is a lot so, to be said for heart and desire. And we said it yesterday on the watch along. If you, it, it depends how much you want something. And I felt that those kids, they had a massive opportunity there. They could have easily got away with not winning that yesterday. No, no one would have said, said anything. Oh, you know they said what? they're kids. The kids. This is, you know, no one knew of them until against Luton, some of those players. First game, big, big stage to do it on. They would have got away with it. They were hungry for it. Klopp galvanised them and I, and I looked at yeah. the substitutions that Pochettino made they should have been enough for Chelsea to beat that team that was on there and they didn't have the heart they didn't have desire they completely recoiled and went into themselves what? they were shambolic they were pathetic they are honestly it is embarrassing and I say it if it was my own team and I've said it many times about my own Chelsea team are they were the a disgrace yesterday club. the banter club and they were I, a I agree with what Matisse says in terms of top to bottom there's a just a way of thinking at Liverpool now where no matter who you are, what your name is, what your shirt number is, if you step out onto that pitch, no matter whether you're 16, 36, you know what's required of you Definitely. and you know your job. I think what? anyone in a red shirt went on yesterday would have done the same because that's what Klopp gives you, the confidence but also the belief to go out and do the job that's needed to do. It could have been anyone playing and, and, and that's okay. just... We've got, got a load of super chats I've got to rattle yeah, through. Just jump before we these. do, Flex, what did you make of it? I think when it's all said and done, really, it just comes down to um, Liverpool and Klopp as well, in particular, just showing why he's one of the best. Because to get to get that out of uh, academy kids who have barely played senior football, that doesn't happen by accident. No. That happens because the whole club, the whole structure of the club, from academy level below the under 23s, I'm going to say, I'm going to say from like under Bro, eights, yeah. like all the way through is seamless mm. really and it shows what type of a leader Klopp actually is they are give him stick and the Man United hate I can't wait for him to leave I honestly can't wait <laughs> because that, that, that yesterday I was just looking at it it's just another reminder of why he's so good if you think about it I know we can say like the more the game went on you felt Chelsea I felt the opposite really I felt the more this goes on 
with all them missing these chances and just I did towards the Klopp yeah. will find a way. And I felt like Van Dijk or Canate, I know he'd come off like later on, but one of their senior players will drag them over. Why? Because that's just what they do. They're proper they're proper players, man. And that's what proper players do. And even the way and it annoys me as well, but you just have to give props. Like even the way that Klopp like was just looking at his players, like when he was going up the stairs and like when he was by the side, he was just looking Beautiful, and smiling, man. just like, this is what I've created. Like you can just see it's, it's more that, than just like someone coming in and saying, right, we need to spend all this and yeah. or someone coming in like at my club and just not giving a shit and letting it rot. Like, but this is proper. It's this, so is why, this is why he's breathing the club. Exa exactly exactly and breathing that, which is on one club. hand as a main yeah. off and I'm like, oh, thank God. Oh my God, just get this guy out of there. Cause if he, if he decided to stay another five, 10 years, Oof. Jesus Christ. But it's actually not, you know I mean? it's not just him. And I said it yesterday to Doyle, cause I was lucky enough to go to Melwood a couple of weeks ago to do some work with the women's side. And even from like the point of going into the training ground, the old Melwood where the, where the under 21s are and the women, but like even from like the lady who's on reception, she's been there 25 years, everybody in that building, there's like a feeling of like, not expectation, but like, you know what the weight of the badge carries if that makes sense everybody understands what it means to be part of Liverpool and it's something that I haven't I haven't felt at, at many clubs to be honest with you when I walked into a building like even down to the staff and I think that when you have a city that lives and breathes a club you, you see the results and got. a manager he's not just there to it, manage man. and pick up a paycheck and, and do that he has really embodied himself in that city of the fan base and that's why you see the rewards on all levels and he has set he has set Liverpool up but when he does leave if some if you get the right person in nothing should change I agree nothing should change to some of these super chats there's a load of super All right, chats there. here we go then are you ready Matthijs um, LJ Brand says uh, Matisse went from showing his other half the high press on a gondola to getting beaten by Liverpool's year 11 prefixes and their supply teacher Virgil with yeah, yeah, hold on a minute. Top, what's Ty oh. want now <laughs> he's got his Nigerian flag on it's Alex Iwobi <laughs> you've come Oops. early Wrong part of the show, mate. We're still on. We're, oh, we're still on Liverpool. Nigeria one. We're still on Liverpool. <laughs> Don't use that, mate. It, it, that's just a problem with the Nigerians, mate. You still haven't got the trophy, mate. Yeah. <laughs> it's not going to help, mate. Yeah. We're going to get to United in a minute. We're going to get to the Nigerians United. Shout out to Nigerians. Tell you what. Yeah. Yeah. Tell you what. Yeah. Yeah. You want to play? Um, you really want to play? Shout out to Nigerians. Yeah. Big up to every single one of you. We're going to get to United in a minute. Let's get put the ballet back up. Put the ballet back up. Let's round through this. LJ says, "Yeah, getting beaten by Liverpool Shield." Evans and their supply teacher with Virgil and AGT in goal. Um, hold that, Matisse. Can't wait for big six. LJ then says, Matisse, how do you lose to a team that needs permission slips to go to Wembley? <laughs> That's good. That's good. Um, conspiracy says, my dad will return from that milk drop before Wembley Chelsea win at Wembley again. Also, Taylor Swift's music is ass. Fair enough. I actually yeah, think I it agree. is too. Um, Louis says, imagine seeing your team lose four finals in a row against Liverpool. You're a clown, Matisse. Sausage, cook him, etc. Uh, Yadvendra says, I see Chelsea fans blaming the loss on Poch's Spurs DNA. However, you lost your last six domestic finals. Poch wasn't in charge of those. <laughs> that's true, that's true. That's Maybe it's true. the Chelsea, Chelsea DNA. Chelsea finals. Finals. This is happening under Chelsea. Roman, wasn't it? Yeah, you know what? How do, you know what? If you ever... I remember <laughs> last year you coming in here, you yeah, Arsenal bottled it. How dare you? How dare you? Six finals, How man. How dare you? At Wembley. How yeah. dare you? Mind you, you're smart. You didn't go. He knew yeah. what was going on. <laughs> I went to the uh, last ones. Lustful Obama says, Matisse and Flex, both losers. Love that. Um, uh, NBA High says, AGT weird for Casado mum jokes. She was the one that told him to go Chelsea. So it's actually a thank you to her. Very much so. <laughs> Canadian Guna, the audacity of Spurs fans taunting for not winning. No, nah, there's no she rules, man. Care, I literally couldn't William give a toss. William Junior sends a super chat to you. Uh, Trouser says, Van Dijk, 93 games, one loss at Anfield, top three all-time Premier League. Just a colossus. I love that man so much. He's beautiful as well. Yadvendra says, Robbie, they did not get it right, Rabbe. Go and watch Arsenal set pieces. You leave three players Arsenal offside every time, but of course you can't expect no, to be come, unbiased. No, but he's, I don't even know they, what they're talking about. Even if th those that players run ball. back in Ender. before the ball's oh, played. Oh, right, yeah, yeah, yeah. But he stayed offside. That was the problem with it. Jazzy says Liverpool was laughing at Man United last season for winning the tin pot and now they're celebrating. Come on, man. Yeah, well, I have you know, I never there's did. a little bit in there. You know? All of a sudden, Cowboy Cup's one of the best things no, you can win, mate. Uh, Flex, don't say I didn't wrap a flag around me when I won it and come in here, mate. You got a bally on because you lost to full of your sausage. It. No one made a big deal of it. I all said. of a sudden, there's loads of Klopp loving because he won the Carabao Cup. 
I thought it was the bottom. Sorry, of the can path. we just rewind it to what you were saying? I'm, a just, I'm just saying I thought it was the bottom. Oh of the path. no, he's gone from YouTube flex to Twitter flex. Yeah, this yeah, is yeah. Twitter flex. Troll flex. I, I thought yeah, it was yeah, the bottom. Yeah, yeah. Of the path. No, there's two flexes. Yeah, You've got to get so used is it the top or not? Uh, Jordan it, says, I knew Chelsea like was it. bad, but this level, this is next level. I honestly believe a championship side had got to the final and would have given Chelsea a run for their well, money. We're going to see that. They're playing Leeds. True. Oh, yeah. Good luck, man. And they just won uh, against Huge. Leicester. Crispy. Right uh, successful <laughs> babies day out last what night. Congrats, mean? AGT. Um, Rami <laughs> says, did you see Enzo <laughs> trying to act hard and getting laughed at? Yes. Unlucky lad. Sausage <laughs> trying to start. What are you going to do? Uh, Barlow. A guy with a gang says, why did the statistician break up with Chelsea? Why? Because they couldn't handle the var ability in their relationship. The revo- yeah. Okay. Agent Potch will always be coys. Um, Pride of London. Thanks, Todd, for Havertz and Jorginho. 80 mil and then well spent. Instrumental in Newcastle for Ashley Marsh Chelsea bottle. Respect to Doyle, his channel, Cop TV, reaching 40k. It's actually my channel, but Doyle was a big part of it as well. So thank you for that. Oh, uh, it's nasty, wasn't it? Yeah. Oh, There's, no oh, cool. no. There's no iron team. There's no iron team. No, no, come on. <laughs> AGT, we got to take anything, from day bro. one, that is our Alex, channel. Alex, it's Alex Brown after winning the cup final. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Clara, Clara, what's the score? Bitsy, where, what's the score? Where says Clara? Ridley. Where is she? She went to the game. Oh yeah, oh, Clara. Oh, she's she's Chelsea. Oh, she's a Chelsea she's fan, isn't it? Clara. Clara. Oh, oh, you got a you're all quiet, hon. Clara, where are you at? Clara, Clara, where are you at? I'm just a typical Chelsea Sausage. bottle job. Can't even show up. In it. Uh, big up flex, United fan. Would you keep Maguire in the summer, says Kieran. Yes. Okay, Todd Miller says, whatever, my trolling days are done. Todd Big Miller, Chelsea man, fan. in the mud, bro. Matisse ignored Todd. his super chats this morning. You might be salty, but don't dish your followers, says Sean Casey, oh. the Liverpool fan. What'd you do? Two more. Actually While people up, debate yeah. about Rice versus Enzo, it's the super <laughs> samurai god, Waturo Endo, to dominate the midfield. <laughs> Liverpool <laughs> over all London <laughs> oh, clubs. God. And Rishab said, the person who totally no, no, holds no, it always. Slow, just slow down. <laughs> what, Endo's better than Rice? How many trophies? No, I'm joking. Um, Sorry, no, listen. Just Endo is incredible. He's a tenth, he had a great a, game yesterday. He's a tenth of the price. He had a rice great game. Well. But he ended um, in rice. Respect, man. Get this guy a please. <laughs> get this guy a chair, please. Now. No, he's got the bottle chair. That's what he's sitting on. <laughs> uh, I don't want to hear no jokes about United from Chelsea fans for the rest of the season. And then we'll pause it there and come back to them after. Well, United is where we're going to go next because Manchester United had a chance on the weekend which was much spoken about last week by you, Flex, that if you won that game on the weekend with Tottenham not playing, you would be level on points with them. A great opportunity to do that. Playing at home, you've been on form, you've been firing. Fulham come to town and totally dominated the game and, you know, um, went 1-0 up. Could have been more. But then, you know, mistake by the goalkeeper Leno. Maguire gets the goal back. But then right at the end, Slip Adama Traore, the last guy you want to see right when you're tired, done one of them, lo- <laughs> them brilliant runs. See what Garnacho said. Yeah, yeah, puts it up to Iwobi. And Iwobi, you know, I've seen that guy at... Um, Can't hit a door, sometimes, sometimes his finishing ain't me Could great. Could do the other day. At the Emirates, but that was a great finish you know, by him. missed about four, wasn't yeah. it? And, uh, <laughs> I actually missed loads. 2-1. Two, 2-1 one. Two, one to Fulham. Look at that one. Um, Breakfast. Normally. What, normally. I mean... Normally, <laughs> but not then. Flicks, what happened? Well, like AGT says, you know, injuries are, you know... No! Oh, yeah, no, 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 I thought we can't use that as an excuse. You are shameless, bro. I thought we can't use that as an excuse. Take this off, No, no, the difference is, right, when your injuries are doing you a favour with you. Yeah, yeah. We have no left back. We win trophies of injuries. Our greatest goal scorer, Rasmus Hoyland, was out. So what are we going to do? Had to start a kid called Amari Forsen, never played before. Ah. You know, Poor you. Could have played Anthony, though. Yeah, exactly. Put him on in the 99th minute. That's exactly the that. truth. I don't hear that injury, that injury because Fulham had no Paulinho, Fulham had no Willian, Fulham had no Jimenez, even though Munez is probably better to be honest. But Whoa. um just wow. disgusting. At, j- the absolutely pathetic performance. And you know what? Um one thing I can I can get my head around it is there being injuries and saying, right, it's tough XYZ. But even the even the decisions of what Ten Hag made with the, with what we had. We know we've got no consistency in our team. So the two things or any bit of consistency you can gravitate to and keep, he has to do it. So that means you keep Garnacho on the left-hand side. So you keep Rashford on the left-hand side where he's been playing fine. And you keep Garnacho on the right-hand side because already we're lopsided because we've got players missing. At least keep that. 
then just put Scott McTominay up front or play Omari Forson through the middle as a false nine or play flipping Ahmad as a false, whatever. But Rashford can't play up front. Last time we played against Forrest and we had to play him there, we got moved to as well. And it's the same thing. Mm. And, and for him to see that the game was going that way and Rashford was just not in the game, either by, a bit by choice because he couldn't be asked because he's having one of them pet, petulant games where he just can't be asked to do anything. Or, and, and tactically, where he was just getting eaten up and, and nothing was happening. And then when he did make the changes, he brings Scott McTominay on um, and, and moves Bruno to the right-hand side. And we know just how ineffective Bruno is on the right hand side. Like clueless, clueless decisions from Eric Ten Hag. Um, I'm not. I'm not expecting Man United to all of a sudden start being technically sound, start dominating games from now to the rest of the season. I've, I'm at. I'm not at peace with it, but I understand it because we can't change nothing. The types of players that we actually have, with people like Bruno who give the ball away every single minute, people like Casemiro who's not technically sound and, washed. And, and, do you know what I mean? He's on so a decline. Washed. Mm. Players like people like Ericsson who come on and got no legs, can't make a tackle. People like that, they're not going to control you again. So you know, an Amrabat's not good. So mm. I get it, fine. But Tapping. at least set us up in a way <laughs> that if we've got players missing, do something different. Marcos Harrison Reed, yeah, I swear to you, was playing like Pirlo. <laughs> you allowed him to play like yeah. Pirlo. That's what I'm saying. He was playing like Pirlo, not by doing anything crazy, just by finding the little spaces, getting on the half turn. Andreas Pereira, who we hounded out the club because we're saying how dead he is, which in a United shirt he was, like everyone else is. And then he, if you were to just, if you were just he to take well. off the take off the name and the number, right, and just say, I tell you what, the red number ten or the white number ten, which player's better? You would have said, well, that, that geezer with the blonde hair, you know, he's doing all right. I don't know who the other guy is crying on the floor. <laughs> like, that's what you would say. So there's no excuses. And yeah. you know what? Top four, gone. Hold tapping, that, tapping, though. That's a Hold tapping, uh, that. That's tapping a Tobes in the chat. Tape. He top says, uh, four, gone. this flex guy Ooh. cried at me giving him the harsh truths on his team, manager and players. Call Spurs bottlers. Well, you yeah, are. Look at you. Well, 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 well. Goes, you Toby, and, Toby. You and Sai deserve then. to get Toby, 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 you always do this. You get very angry about things that are not to do with <laughs> you, right? And the truth is, is that you are bottle jobs because you support Spurs. So you don't win and bottle is what you're about. So, so you, you, you should take that and understand that. That just is exactly what you, you are. You think the top four's gone? Necessary. It is for United. It's yes. a, I tell you what, that's a big old statement considering you sashayed in here last week Love with your word. big dick Sashay. energy. <laughs> yeah, we, we're bringing it back. We're bringing it back for another week. Well, it's about being realistic, not like what you are, which is still what, hoping. What's, sorry. Which is what's, just, what's, just hoping for other people to do a job listen, for you that your team can never do. Uh, we had a at weekend off. Day, we had a weekend off. And, and you, exactly, you, you haven't even played. We haven't even played, You haven't yeah. even played. You no, have to, I've had, had a nice weekend. You have to like you played and got three points. I did. <laughs> <laughs> I got a trophy, mate. I got what a trophy. I got so, a trophy this weekend. So last year you've got a Premier League. Yeah. So you've got a treble on you. What else when you go to Tottenham When I go on loan, when I go on loan for various weeks against the Chelsea's and the Arsenal's, I win things. In, so your, that's in, how your, I keep in your happy. in your stadium cabinet, if you're in your trophy cabinet, I think what other clubs? Can it's you it's see not in my my stadium one. In my personal accolade, <laughs> when I go on loan, I win a Champions League. I win a quadruple. Can we book a tour? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 sure. Right, right. Listen, I'm just saying you. Will, we're not talking about Tottenham. There's you nothing do have to, talk to hold about this it, week. though, bro. You've got to. You hold have it. to hold you know. it. You came, you, know why? you know why? You came because in here and said you're going to get top four. You, you, you said that, and now you're saying you're not you, you because won. of one loss. You yes. Won. Back your team. You, you, you Back won. your team. You can't do you know what? You've, you've seen no. so many. No. Sh you can't seen, tell me what to do. You've no, I'm not backing them, actually. <laughs> you've seen a lot of shameless wins recently in that shameless yeah. winning run. Yeah, they're bricks. Run <laughs> you just, they're you bricks. ate that shit up. They're bricks. You did. <laughs> nom, nom, nom. Oh, that's what you did, bruv. They're you ridiculous. ate that shit up. You know why they're idiots? <laughs> you know why they're idiots? You know why they're idiots? Because they get to the last, the last, get so pissed off there. They get to the last game of the run where I said 15 points. <laughs> yeah. in the last game, you did it at Villa. Tough arts. You did it at Spurs. Um, at, at Wolves. Not tough you arts. Well, you did it at Luton. Don't matter, you did it. Then you get to the team who's won one away game all year. Fulham. Yeah. It won't be in them, man. Oh. Bassey. Them man of broke foot half the time can't do nothing. Douglas. And you let them come dunk on us like that. Yeah. They couldn't even settle the ball on AFCON. Mad. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so what's that, Nigerian? Well, we had to come on social media last week. He's back on it now. 
Yeah. Because <laughs> the not... Nigerians ran him out. Nigerians better than Jamaica now. And now, all of now, a sudden, yeah? you know what I'm saying? So, all right. right. Finished by Iwobi. You just can't come in one week saying, you know, it's back, you know. Oh, I can. You can't. Because, because, you can't. It's just because, because it's just we might fickle. not get top four, but neither will you. We're both going to be in the mud as well. You're, well, maybe, maybe so. So, I still, I still believe that we will get Villa will get it. And you know what? You know what, Ashley, Aston Villa? Hopefully. Good luck to you, Aston Villa. Definitely. You deserve it. Go and get it. Gabby Agbon Hall, you've been doing the trolling all year. You know, go and enjoy it. Gabby Summers. Shout out all the- <laughs> So you've given up on it after one? Yes. Given up? Because, only because. Wow. Only because. Give up, you know. Who's your, um, next, who's your next game? Oh, oh, oh. This, Man City this away. Week. No, 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 no. Next game is City ground away first. Oh. FA Cup. So we're going to get dumped out of that. And Ooh. then it's and it's who's, 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 who's show is sacrificial Sunday. Sunday? Is that yours? Or is that sacrificial Sunday. Yeah. Sac- sacrificial is that Sunday. Yours? Saturday, yeah. Yeah. Is it sacrificial Saturday? <laughs> sacrificial Sunday for you. Yeah. On, um, next Sunday at right. Etihad. Yeah. Sacrificial I'll be there. Sunday. I like yeah. your sacrificial Sunday. You sacrificial do Sunday. <laughs> and and, like and I'll go one further as well. I've <laughs> no. also come round to the thinking, <laughs> right, that um, okay. Ten Hag won't be there next year. Oh, it's late, Robert. It's very late. So we're both getting friends. Yeah, I I just think that how I feel looking at it now is he's making it easier for Ineos but if he doesn't get top four, we kind of just peter out. Yeah, there's been look, the injury to Rasmus and now no left back. Like, we're, just, we're just not going to. Can I ask you a question? So Shit. I just think the next, the next back. Let's say that. Let's gone. say that they sack Poch. Would you have Poch? No. You wouldn't. No, I would have done when, when it was between him and Tenor. Yeah. I, like, I don't see the. I know you want. Yeah, you wanted him. But no. <coughs> well, Villa, you like you said, um, Aston, <laughs> Aston Villa took full advantage and they um, 4 2 win Ooh, over uh, late, Robert. Forest. We've got some news, breaking Ooh. news right now. No. David Ornstein, exclusive Everton points deduction <gasps> for breach of Premier League profitability and sustainability rules reduced from 10 points to six points after independent independent panel appeal hearing into original punishment second charge appeal hearing still to come so, so, they've, so they've just they've just six, but then the new charge would come and give them back up. Yeah. yeah so they've so just they, got four points basically but then they could then be so deducted like another points so, just gone away from so, so just looking at that with that four points back that would take them i can tell you what they're I can tell you. Oh, that was a, that, that They're out of trouble. Take right them to Chelsea, isn't it? Puts Forrest and Brentford right back into it now. Wow. Trust. So that's very interesting. Very, very interesting. But then that new set of, of um, so points yeah. could come. Well, this is what we were saying the other day, that what's the right. point of giving, like you might as well just wait and then just see mm. what you, it's like just giving you like money back that's, then just yeah. take it off. Like, that's what's okay. Quick maths. And, and Flex has just got away with a little bit more of a cooking, but. No, get back to it if you want. If there's no, more we'll to say, keep cooking. We'll move yeah, on. Yeah, well, Villa won 4-2 and move. they took full other advantage times. and now yeah. they're into fourth place. Now five points ahead of Tottenham, of course, who didn't play on the weekend. Of course, there's the, still the, the race for the title going on. Um, Manchester City played and uh, beat Bournemouth by a goal to nil, which then put a lot of pressure on Arsenal, who had Newcastle oh. in the eight o'clock kickoff. Come on, Arsenal. Well, you didn't want us to mention Arsenal? Oh, but you can't. Watch the game, uh, right? and, uh, can't support through. other teams. Arsenal. Can't support other teams, can you? Can't have a, men- can't have a vendetta, Arsenal. can you? Arsenal. Look at you. Look at the state of you. See that? You're pathetic. <laughs> <laughs> Look at the state yeah, of you. Bear flags like Newcastle as Look well. Look at the state was like, of you. You want to do that to us at St. James' Park? We got bear flags in Newcastle too. It's true, because when we went to St. James' Park, they Beer flags, right? I'm like, do you know? We got more to the flags. It's so shaky. We had more flags. Arsenal, like, nah, you know I mean? put more. But um, We're I have to say, right, flags. It, you know? was, uh, it was a scintillating first half by Arsenal. They were mm. brilliant. I, they, I, I knew there was going to be a reaction to that game in the Champions League um, the other night. And Arsenal, they came flying out of the blocks, and they basically just didn't give any time or space at all to Newcastle. The pressing was brilliant, and Again, Matisse, thank you very much for Jorginho. He was controlling that midfield. Good I mean, player. I, tell, I actually told you guys he's a good player when you signed him. Well, no, I most, che- most Chelsea fans. Well, and he looks all right to me. Most Chelsea really fans. Really that, really. a Chelsea fan. He looks all right in a better Okay, you, you hang on that one. Havertz yeah? looks all right now. Yeah, Havertz no, no, no. no. scored. He did play well. He did play well. Havertz had a good game. And play together. And those two are playing really well. I mean, Jorginho has played really well every time he's coming for us all this season. And I thought he was probably our best player on the pitch. He was excellent. Um, Havertz scored Saka again there's been this argument about who's world class who's not he keeps putting up the numbers he's he's, he's an unbelievable player and um, I thought that was a very good win by Arsenal to put you know another four goals could have been more Havertz did have a one-on-one chance he should have buried. He's not um, good one-on-one, is he? No. Yeah, he's not a great one-on-one. He's very, one on one. very team but Werner, Listen, he's been playing really well. You know I mean? He's been playing as a sort of false number nine and he's been doing really well. And 
a great performance by Arsenal and a great reaction to the fact that City have won just before them. And this title race is really hotting up now. You know what I mean? So Liverpool tight. on 60 points. Of course, you had the, you got the job done against Luton yeah, in the week. Um, during the week. Man City on 59 points and Arsenal on 58. Hardly anything in it. Nobody can afford to slip up. But Arsenal still up there in the race. And um, yeah, I mean, what, what did you make of it, Matisse? You said you saw the game. Yeah, um, they just suffocated <laughs> Newcastle. Like, I thought, because I watched the game at the Emirates last season, Arsenal versus Newcastle, nil nil. And I said to myself, hmm, I wonder if Newcastle can maybe make this a bit of a frustrating encounter. Try and do what Porto did. Mm. No. No, they just they just said nah. We we we, we sacrificed we sacrificed the game. Like Arsenal just just killed them. It was it was it was embarrassing, really tough to watch that because I I went in with the best intentions and <laughs> Arsenal just absolutely slaughtered them. Saka, Havertz, I thought yeah, Jorginho was brilliant. Him and Rice together, I thought mm. that was good balance. It was just a walkover and 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 Arsenal on set pieces. When we when we talk about the old Arsenal, we talk about yeah. fragile, weak. You know, nice to watch, but not really got anything between between their teeth. This Arsenal team on set pieces are deadly. It just keeps happening time and it's time and purpose. time again. Yeah, it's it insane. They've got a coach. And so now, and now, and now, Kivio's at left back. It's another one. On top of, I mean, Rice is taking them. He could be in the box himself. On purpose. Gabriel Saliba. Definitely gets his new well, album, mate. Well, yeah, it's mad. Yeah, yeah, definitely, cool. definitely, cool. definitely on purpose because yeah. obviously they've got this set piece coach. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's been doing, but he's, doing, remember, he's doing an incredible job. I remember yeah. when they he's came doing back incredible from Dubai, job. right? I remember the first set piece we had, right? We was playing at home, Palace. Yeah. See Declan Rice going to take you. I go, what's he doing? Mm. He should be in the box. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Big guy like that. I mean, we see. He whipped in an unbelievable ball. I was delivery. like, hey, hold on a minute. <laughs> okay, I didn't know he could do that. Yeah. Yeah. And then he's just been doing that since then. His deliveries, Declan Rice's deliveries yeah. from set pieces it's, are it's unreal. They're very well Very drilled. sort of Trent Alexander-esque, you know what I mean? Where he's sort of whipping it, you know, that in-swinger in was really <laughs> difficult to deal with. Mm. And then you've got the big guys, Gabriel, Saliba, Saliba, Saliba. you know what well, I mean? Yeah. man don't miss. Um, Kivy, Kivy, Kivy or not, Kivy, Kivy, Ben White. We talk about, yeah. um, we talk about Van Dyke, who, Listen, always gets his head on things. Look what he did yesterday. Gabriel. But between Gabriel and Saliba, Gabriel in Gabriel. particular. Yeah. Yeah, like, and actually, just Gabriel in, in, in general, I've said it a few times on this show, mate. Team of the year. He's Do you know what? Easily. Yeah. You know what? Underrated He's, player, man. Do you know what the difference, the difference between when, when I look at you this year to last year, and obviously at Christmas we were all talking about you probably don't look the same, and you didn't really. Around Christmas you still looked a little bit weak, but you've gone into a different gear, which you didn't have this time last year or were about to fall off you look like you've got leaders and that is mm. I think a very big difference between you last year and you this year and I look at the likes of the Gabriels and obviously Rice and, and even Saliba those are your leaders you've got the spine of your team completely a lot of spot them have on from last year yeah they have they definitely have and I think that you're a different different animal this year especially coming into you know the latter part of the season but those set pieces you're incredibly well drilled you come out the blocks absolutely firing like like Matisse said you suffocate teams in the opening kind of 15 minutes which is what you want that's how you set the tone and the president the president for the game the one thing I would say though and this is not to counter out how good you were the other day I'm not taking anything off that but I thought Newcastle defensively were terrible I really did I thought they were so shambolic and you could look and see at all of the reaction from the team all looking at each other trying to pass off yeah. the blame which is something when we go back to last season you would never equate to, to Newcastle them being poor at the back them not having any structure you know they were one of the most defensive solid teams in the league for probably the last 18 months so that's a big problem for yeah. them and that's that's a big part of why along with their injuries why they're not having a great season but I thought it was a very um, I don't know what the word is just a really light performance from a Newcastle perspective they did the same when they came to Spurs yeah. but I was with Matty Take nothing away from you, great. I had a couple of beers with him in, uh, in North, North, North London. Oh, we ain't seen him for time. <laughs> Honestly, he's so quiet. <laughs> I saw him on Saturday. You know, he's in really good spirits. And really? Then he went to the game. <laughs> Yeah. You know, I've been 300 quid for a hotel. I'm not coming back here, are yeah, he Since they've been back. like ninth for a while and they're like, what, 12 points off top yeah. four? Like, actually, the, he just, just ain't hurt. Just off the, gone they've, actually, yeah. Yeah. they've actually been on a good run away from home, haven't yeah, they? Yeah, they have. They've had some good wins away from home in, yeah. the, in, in the run they've had. But, mm. but they don't like London. They, yeah, they got taken apart. Just got say. And uh, yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a very, very interesting Who's your next game against? Um, Arsenal next Just game really is easy. against Sheffield United away. Uh, oh, for um, actually, why not? Good. Yeah, Manchester good. City. Good, 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 Manchester yeah. City, of course. Come, 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 come <laughs> <laughs> Make up your mind, okay? Commit yeah, to it. If you're going to commit... It's because it's still them. Like, I, if you're going to commit to a cause... He was in his early, early noughties... Um, <laughs> 
mindset, and then yeah. you realise, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Man, man, man City, of course. <laughs> Commit to a cause. United. Sacrificial um, Sunday, mate. Don't worry about that. They sacrificial. Got their, they've got their free and Liverpool. Know, Liverpool. Uh, Palace. Now we've got Palace. Palace. Then... We've got Southampton on Wednesday in the FA Cup, and then you... I think it's Forest away. Forest away. We've yeah, got yeah. Palace. Can got I just Palace. say, 12,000 of you with us right now. I'm not sure about records on this show, but gotta that's got to be up there. Yeah. 1,400 some... likes, though. We need more. More, more likes. More likes. So let's get some super chats. Are you, yeah, at, you know, for you know, for this the City game, are you at home or away? Uh, it's at the Etihad. Good luck. Uh, Ragnarok says if, if LFC <laughs> bought Endo instead of Mello last year, would we have got top four? Irrelevant, mate. I need to trust Ilias, my favourite part of the watch along. Robbie, Cre uh, Poch looks crestfallen. He can't believe it. Abby says, I can. Nice to have you on loan. Have a drink on me. You'll never walk alone. There you go. D Sinclair says, Chelsea fans claiming Poch has turned them into Spurs when in fact it's been Chelsea's for 90% of their history. Pre-97, they'd only won four trophies. Damn. <coughs> Pock. P-O-K says we've got a timber party and Tommy Asu coming back as Robbie would say get excited what's that about I don't know <laughs> a random guy in the UK funny how Liverpool teenagers controlled the game better than United you don't need Messi Zidane or Pirlo to play against Fulham at Old Trafford my friend correct Spadesy Abby when clubs enter their banter era they start getting compared to Spurs how does it feel deep inside to live a meaningless life my life is very fulfilling Jesus it's a bit harsh isn't wow. it? Oh, yeah, easy, do you know man. what do you know, do you know what I love the, firstly my life is very fulfilled but also we just live rent free in everyone's do, heads man. and we do honestly no, we, 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 we do because we no, win fuck all we no, don't do anything don't, no, so the fact that we literally no, Abby, live rent no, free in that. everyone's heads no, no, no. means we are means we are massive no, no, we're massive we're absolutely massive absolutely massive what are you West rent free <laughs> we're massive we're, we're, we're rent, rent free you are not rent free but we do because as soon as someone bottles we it we laugh at you for a reason no as soon as we someone bottles it what we say about Spurs do you know how irrelevant do you know how irrelevant Spurs should be we win no, you nothing are. we shouldn't be hated you are. by you, you are, or but that's why, you that's, why, that's why we're saying to you yeah but everyone hates us why do you all hate us so much why do you all hate us we don't do anything order order let's get back to does everybody not hate Millwall super chats super chats please flex to be fair every team turns into prime Barca against us this is insanity he says Black Wolf Frankie Fast stands Mr Flex what's your feeling on Bruno as captain it's not just a bad form it's the concerts moaning and antics on top of it you keeping it like you no you're very Bruno you moan a lot oh, no, I don't. doing all this you're not keeping Bruno you moan a lot right, uh, Dragon says Abby predicting draws for Arsenal it was cute at first it's never right now it's kind of sad and pathetic cool Keep Saudi come for Bruno he's been utter rubbish so Jim get Nagelsmann at United for me new era Clara Bitsy Woo! oh Clara not hiding, Abby. I've been watching the show. No energy and completely devastated after yesterday. Congrats, AGT, and good luck, Mattis, for Big Six. Long day for you. Look how happy you are. James no Andrew. Uh, Chelsea no qualified for the Europa League Conference uh, next season. Well, they haven't, actually. Marco, despite, uh, Robbie, despite us scoring so many goals lately, don't you feel like we can elevate our attack even more if we get a striker? Yeah, definitely. Obviously. Aya says, Robbie, looking at how well Jorginho is playing and his age, we need an understudy for him. Would Fabio Vieira be a good successor looking at his passing well, ability? We've got to see more from Fabio Vieira. He's been out injured literally the whole season again. So <clears throat> let's see what he does when he's, he's back. He was back on the bench at the weekend. Let's see what he does. Bala says, Robbie, do you take Arsenal to win um, the Champions League and lose the Prem? Uh... Listen, you I, take I, that. I, you I, take I, that, Robert. Yeah, I'll answer that for him. Of course, I'll take that. Come I said on. from the start with the Champions Never League that we're very inexperienced mm. in the Champions League. You mm. saw that the other night. We didn't know that game against Porto. Arsenal did not know what to do. They didn't know whether to just say, "All right, let's just be." They, they, they play very cautiously. You know what I mean? I don't think it's going to be like that at the Emirates. No, you're not. It won't Emirates. be like that at the Emirates. Mm. You know, because mm. we know what we've got to do now. Yeah. Um, shout out to Mash Rishab who says if Spurs finish outside top four Mattis and Flex this is your moment mates manifest that Emmanuel says uh, it will be so united to go to City and get something and it Rishab was. says you are not massive Spurs is a movie that you watch for mindless fun and a break and yeah that comes rent free tell you what it's not mindless fun <laughs> it's high blood pressure All right, I'm just running through some of the other it's results uh, Everton um, got a draw at Brighton they nearly pulled off which you know now they've got, they've got four points back would have been an even better win. Um, but it was Lewis Dunk, another very underrated player who got ahead. And he's great from set pieces as well when we talk about set pieces. Um, to make it 1-1 for 10-man Brighton. Uh, Palace 
New manager bounce, beating... Well, I didn't even know it's a new manager bounce because they're playing Burnley. Yeah. Yeah. Um, 3-0 against um, Burnley. Um, so, massive win for them as well. Especially those teams now that are in and around it. Now we've got that news that those yeah. points have been That'll given back. them as well now. Um, to Everton. However, not so great for Sheffield United. Not only did they lose 1-0 um, against Wolves away, they were fighting each other as well. Two of their players mm. fighting each other on, on the pitch. You Can know, you get a um, red for that? They didn't get yeah, a red. So you punch one of your own players. Yeah, yeah. You're yeah, supposed you to get a red. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah, you, yeah. Are. you are. You are supposed to get a red. Yeah, it's still violent. Yeah, it's still violent. You're supposed to get a red, but they didn't yeah, get a red. Got, but Burnley and Sheffield United are relegated. Imagine being yeah. two players down because you're open. Yeah. <laughs> so, Quickly, just to run through, there's a, obviously, um, you know, there's no time to even brief for some of the teams because the FA Cup is back during the week. Bournemouth taking on Leicester. Um, Who you got? Yeah, you're funny. Right. You? Blackburn taking on Newcastle. <laughs> She's going to be enjoying other people's games. Uh, Big Leeds fan. Luton versus, <laughs> Luton, Luton versus Man City. Can, can Luton pull off a little shock? Uh, nah. At home? They, they, did all right in the, they did all right in the Premier League yeah, game, didn't at they? Home. They was winning 1-0 now. But <laughs> now you get the feeling after that news that they might not even... Yeah, it's true. You know, be, oh, yeah, now be interested in the FA Cup. Rob Edwards will pick them up. Now, what about this game in the FA Cup? Matisse. Chelsea versus Leeds United. Okay. Leeds currently... Needs more back support. <laughs> <laughs> Can we get more bottles, please? Leeds currently second oh, wow. in the championship. Doing really well. They beat Leeds... They beat uh, Leicester, sorry. They um, did. Um, I don't know how they, they did were one They, they were 1-0 down as well. Oh, you watched that places game. Away from that Chelsea. game, again, that was similar to, to the Chelsea game where, where Leicester missed some chances. Yeah. But Leeds... Flying high at the moment. Mm -hmm. If Chelsea lost that game, and, and, and I can just... I can see I it. think the atmosphere there is going to be a bit ropey, isn't it, after that game? More you can believe. This is, a, you know... Um, <laughs> if, they, if, they they if they lose this game, mm. that could be the end of Poch. What happens? I don't know if it can, we can afford for it to be the end. Um, so Literally. Pay out, you know? Uh, <laughs> long day. Listen, if we... Uh, 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 sausage. We've been losing games all season, man. We're 10th. Like, what is... Leeds are what is the, places what is the consequence you. of losing? I don't it's not know. That much. But Do you know that? Listen, Leeds are going to be a, Leeds, are be, Leeds are a good team this season. I'm about to speak to a Leeds fan tomorrow. I'm interested to see how they how James they play. Coon. No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> no. We don't need to hear him right now. I don't need to hear oh, him right he, now. He, he's got to call you if you, <laughs> oh my if you God. lose that. I yeah, I know he you. will for sure. Um, no, it's going to be a tough game. I've watched us. I've gone to most of the lower league cup games at home, and we've played Wimbledon, and we played um, Preston, and we've played. Um, all these teams and we've not usually played well we've struggled and we've just mm. literally scraped over not the line surprised. so yeah so Massive if you're playing against and Middlesbrough remember we lost away 1-0 yeah, yeah, yeah. uh, it's Can one of the most dis disgraceful performances of the season I didn't forget the second leg uh, I don't no. I don't think so no I don't remember I don't, I, again I told you on the preview I don't do DLs with this team um, but enough. when it comes to when it comes to this game we could easily be bopped so we have to be careful okay. yeah. um, and then Man United go away to Nottingham Forest we're out. that won't no. be easy we're out why do you think that why do I think that? Yeah. Because mentality wise and there. like that the bruising that last has done the other day and the lack of options still we're in trouble. But man. you can't be a seventeenth place for? forest. No, uh, two to three weeks. No, because it, it's gonna be a lang a langer against Lindelof probably. <sighs> um unless Ten Hag changes. It won you. It won you against bloody this version of Divock the Rigi, doing yeah, a madness. Do a if he plays Rashford up front, we may as well just go. But home. I don't know how you're sitting there saying that when last week you genuinely said that you yeah. you might get top four. Shame so well, this is a different this is a different competition. Yeah, but the, okay. the team's the same. Yeah, and I don't think we're gonna win. Yeah. Liverpool Should versus I... Southampton. Yeah, I mean, you come I mean, like that last week? what sort of team are you gonna have that for that? <laughs> Kids again? No, I don't. probably, probably. I mean, they was telling me that Darwin was injured. I didn't. I don't you know if you saw his celebration. Yeah. Didn't look in. He looked like he was running the final length at Grand National. I, I said yes. I, I said yesterday, right, on the stream. It was. I said it was yesterday leaping over the hurdles. If that, had that, been, right? if that had been the Champions League final, I think Salah yeah, and yeah, yeah. Nunes would have played. I think he's keeping it. It's almost clock going, actually. He's got to keep Chill on the bench. Let me just test how good I am. Yeah. You know I mean? And it'll put the pressure it. a bit more on Chelsea as yeah. well. So I, a bit. I genuinely do think we will play the kids again, man. But yeah. long live the kids. Long live the kids. Long live the kids. They, uh, deserve Wolves, they deserve it. Wolves take on Brighton and, uh, um, oh, as I said, Nottingham Forest versus Manchester United. Those are the FA Cup games. 
And uh, yeah, we've reached the end of the show. No game for Tottenham uh, this weekend, but you are back in action. Back on weekend. Saturday, Palace. Palace. Palace, Palace. Right, and so then I'm back at the Emirates Sunday. Where have you got oh, Palace? Oh, oh yeah, because Tottenham. Wait, it's international. Play yeah, it's big. Arsenal um, versus Tottenham at North the North London Derby. Women's, North Women's Sunday. Sunday. And it's International Women's Day, so they've right. got an all, which I'm actually loving about Arsenal, to be fair, mm. if I'm giving them a compliment. On the women's side, um, obviously, like hospitality and stuff is lovely. And also, it's an all women coaching staff and ground staff this weekend for International Women's Day. Excellent. Excellent. So you're actually going there to watch a team that you do support. Yes, which is nice. I'm, I'm not allowed to wear my shirt, though. So I would wear it. I might underneath and just be like, yeah. hey. But yeah. yeah get Couple super tops. Right. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Tapping Tobes is yeah. back. Huh? Cheers, babe. Tapping Tobes, Tobes, Tobes is day. Yeah. Tapping Tobes is back. He said, wait, Flex wants better than Madison Bruno gone. Better than Madison Bruno gone. Yeah. Is that what you want? Oh, he does. He's admitted it. Fair enough. If, at the end of the season, if the money comes in, so. Abby, we don't hate Spurs out of the big Sell, six. Oh, the You're the little Sell brother Bruno. we pick on. Yeah, if a, if, a, if a good offer came in, I'd take money for Bruno. How much? Seriously. If it doesn't, then you can't. But yeah, like, we can't play the type of Saudi. football we want to play. So Bruno, mm. gone. Rashford, yeah. gone. Rashford. Yeah, the money come in, change it. Okay, change it. Oh, I thought he was gonna do more. But Maguire. keep Maguire. No, you said yeah, keep you Maguire. Said no, I was only joking. Wait, how many? That miss, no. by the way. From keep. So? No, Maguire, so. Okay. A big clear out. We should do keep on sale. We should do that. Anyway, listen, we've come to the end of the show. Listen, I hope you've enjoyed it today. Um, big up to Flex. Uh, big up to King AGT. You know what I mean? Um, Flex was a bit right, though. It weren't as important last year, was it? But anyway. Um, Not one of those players. Played. Big up to Abby. Oh, Bar Virgil. <laughs> big up to Abby and Matisse. You've been a good sport today. Um, big up to Matisse. And thank you to you guys for joining us today. Don't forget this video has been brought to you today by Match Bingo, where every goal, save, throw in, corner and substitution can bring you uh, cash prizes. Match Bingo is such a fun game where you're playing bingo, um, but for football, and just like bingo, you get a card, but for events that happen um, in a football game, for example, if you hit the crossbar, right-footed goal, or how many times uh, we're going to have added on for injury time. You can buy up to five cards per match. The best bit is that you can try out um, 10 free cards um, this month. And uh, this week, you can play the West Ham versus Brentford game for free too. Um, but you, could, you can um, buy more chances to win and even more cash prizes with every card you purchase. And it supports the Stroke Association, which is a great, great cause. Thanks for watching the show. Don't forget to subscribe here to DR Sports. And we'll be back during the week Thursday. Get that off, <laughs> get that off me, mate. We'll be back on Them Thursday. Again, we'll man. be previewing the games at the weekend. Up the road. Money, love.